Hey everybody, how y'all doing? Are you here okay? In your neck of the woods? What up? What up? Manners and respect, man. And your girl, Debbie from Donga Yard. Welcome you all to the Jamaican kitchen. Welcome once more. It is the Jamaican cooking journey. If you're new right on over here, special welcome. Thank you so very much. Those of you who are there with me from the beginning of the journey and you're still here, manners and respect. Now on today's episode of the Jamaican cooking journey, and yes, one of my words, look here. You remember last year this time? Did you remember the year before? This is my time of the year to be worse until about February. No matter what. This is the, the, the weather is sort of changing. You know, we not get no cold weather. Don't have, but me, don't have Jamaica, yeah, but I love the cold weather. So from time to time, I'll be a little worse. But me take care of it. Now today, on today's episode of the Jamaican cooking journey, I thought I said that before. I am going to be introducing to you especially those people two sets of people those who are scared to use pressure cooker and those those who have never bought one and would really love to use one okay if you are subscribed or if you are in tune with my other channel which is the jamaican debonet strain then you would have known what was happening yesterday today sunday now <clears throat> we have got a hundred and a half thousand on the Jamaican cooking journey right here. Thank you so very much for your love and for your support. We have only 10,000 and little on the, Jama on the Jamaican debit stream. What are you waiting for? Why not up right on over there and subscribe, show some love, and then whenever we come here with stuff, you won't be lost. When we come to show things, because that's how the channels work, we, 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 we interact from over there to over here and from over here to over there. And also, we are on the Jamaican Mukbang. So if you have not yet subscribed to the Jamaican Mukbang, and if you have not yet subscribed to the Jamaican Debbie Deb Strain, in order to be with what is happening on the Jamaican cooking journey, I implore you to go right on and go get yourself attached more to the family okay so we're gonna leave the link and as each time you see the name of my channels run across the screen whilst the videos are being running we are also gonna leave the link to those channels in the description you go show us some extra love thank you we'd appreciate it now this is a new pressure cooker now have had in my lifetime quite a few pressure cookers quite a few the last one i had was almost like this but i think it was asta i mean i really have i mean i know asta don't like me that brand or something didn't like me i thought that pressure cooker had a factory fault i don't pity the pant. it was just the same right here and you know pressure cookers differ they differ in 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 um how they work power so to speak and all of that these pressure cookers nowadays they are lightweight they are not heavy pressure cookers back then were really weighty and i think the weightier the pressure cooker is the faster your meat cooks now pressure cooking method is a forced method of i would say forced or should i not say forced please comment and help me but it traps steam therefore yes it forces the meat to cook faster that is just my day you might have something what you want to share with me i'd appreciate it in the comment section and make sure it makes some sense okay now this is very new we have not used it before for me i have had quite a few pressure cookers in my lifetime i have all of them here with me they're they're not working as pressure cookers anymore and so i just use them as regular pots what i want to share with you whilst you're using your pressure cooker when you have your brand new pressure cooker, try not to use it as a pot. Use it as a pressure. Well, when you pressure, you remove and you do your gravy down and something in another pot. When it gets older, as we are two, three years go along, you can try that. But with your very new pressure cooker, try to use it as a pot. As a pressure cooker and not as a regular pot. Okay? For longevity. Now, there are some things that I see some people do 
with pressure cookers that I know they are not right. They are not healthy for the long longevity of the pressure cooker. Some people, when the pressure, when it finishes, when you, you know you turn it off, they want to force here to get out the steam. Also, a lot of people run it under the pipe, which is for me a total no-no. You're supposed to wait until the pressure cooker comes to us. It's still. They always say give weight. It gives its own weight. It lets loose. Let's loose. I've never used this one before, and that is where we are going to try it. And I'm going to show you. The older ones, when they give weight, and this, it, you know, when it's working, this is up and spinning around. So when it's left for a time, and this drops you there, ping, they would have something like this in there. But it um, um, makes a sound when, it, when it, it drops. But I don't know. I don't know if they, I don't think, they, I've never heard any of these. But you have some high class one, maybe it's still a, uh, you have some high class pressure cook out there, them look good. Now we are going to be opening, come on again, we are writing. We have these things here. They are some, I don't know, we'll read as we go along. So for here, it has this, has sort of arrow showing you. So you would just hold it like this, push it, and you turn to the right to open your pressure cooker. Fairly new, I've not used it as yet. This is the manual, but we're not going to go in at the manual. Come in a need for going at the manual. This says here, 9.5 quarts. It's a 10 quart pressure cooker. But it look like a bit to me for 10 quart. Now inside here, all the pressure cookers, they would have a minimum. You should in them off camera, girl. I don't know if the camera will catch this. They always have a minimum level and a maximum. This one has only maximum. That simply means you are not to put anything, meaning meat and stuff in with, along with liquid in the pressure cooker that passes this maximum level. It will blow up the pressure cooker. When you're forced cooking with the steam, you need space for the steam to move around the contents or the condiments at a pressure cooker. You can't, it says here, maximum level. No carry up here, so it will blow the pressure cooker cover off because the steam is trapped in there. It will be too much. So follow the instructions. Okay. There are a few things here. It says... I don't even have glasses. I'm so busy. My glasses broke, family. And I know I don't reach to get to forget my glasses back yet. It says, do not fill the pressure cooker more than, more than two-thirds of its capacity. See it? And also it says, when cooking or, or preparing foods that, are, that can expand such... As ribs and legumes and all of those things, dried vegetables, you are to... Okay, do not fill the pressure cooker more than the maximum level. Let, us, let me try to explain that for you. Foods that are dried, that when they get in the pressure cooker and they, that, are, that have been dehydrated and when you start cooking them, they get rehydrated back and swell up. You are not to put too much in there and you know for pass it because the pressure cooker are going to get full up. Even though with those nothing you're supposed to, you must try to understand what you put, how you put. Okay, you put some dry peas in at this, okay? You have to know the amount of peas you're putting in with how much water. Because whilst it pressures, the peas is going to be expanding, okay? There is another one here that says, this one says, I'm seeing this better. It says, do not force the oven. I didn't even see this. I forced me to buy a pressure cooker. We have them up me upon it. Do not force the pressure cooker open. Don't force it. Now put it on and sink and run the water upon it. Let the pressure cooker be. It says, do not force the opening of the pressure cooker. Do not open without being sure that the internal pressure has been completely removed. Internal pressure. Is a steam that has been built up inside the pressure cooker. Not try to force it. Let it stay there and subside of its own. Okay? Now, when I get a, 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 a new pressure cooker, every single one. The first pressure cooker I owned was in 1989. And you know what happened? I do, did something, but it automatically became permanent. And then I realized it was like a cleansing process. The first thing we pressure in my new pressure cooker, my water. Yeah, 
So I'm going to be putting, I'm not going to be going the maximum. This probably would have been the minimum. Put the camera upon me. The very first thing I pressure in any new pressure cooker I own is water. For me, that hot water is like a, 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 a way of cleansing with the hot water. Um, you know, um, what that word name? Um, sterilizing. And then after I wash. So now, I'm putting in this amount and I'm going to be putting on my cover. Now, this is all the pressure cooker rubbers come nowadays. They are white. Back in the days, they were black. People are my age and so I know you can comment. Okay. So now, this pressure cooker rubber is supposed to be always in shape. You know? So as soon, I'll tell you a little more about that probably in another video or so. So you fit the rubber. When this gets too, too, too slack up inside here and there are extra spaces, you're not going to have nothing to cook. And that is why after a time you have to end up changing out these rubbers. Also, this, this, this ear on the ear, it, it, it um, counteracts with this up here. So, the one that I had, I told you, was like this. All of a sudden, I just say, I say it loose. I don't know why. Probably it was, I paid a lot of money for it. But it is cheap. Right? Now, these things make sure each time you use your pressure cooker, and you, you're finished, and you wash it, and you're ready to use it again. These things must not be spinning around. These two things here, <clears throat> they must be intact. So you have to make sure <clears throat> that they're intact. In the side here, there is a little thing. It does not come up until the pressure builds up in the pressure cooker and starts pressuring. That is what tells you that the pressure cooker is locked and it is safe. Okay? So we have a put on. Now, you open to the right. You try to line up with these slots. Some people might want to think the video is too long. But if you do think so and you want to click off, go click off. There are people here. I know lots of people here that this information is they would they are interested. So this one here, you close it to the left. It, it's closed. Now we are gonna go on the eat. So you're gonna shoot up the eat to the max to start it on, and we are gonna leave it. When it starts to boil, I will come back and I'll show you what is gonna happen. How this it is new, so that means if that not happen, I've got to take back this pressure cooker because it is is defaulted. So this little thing inside there, the little um, this one look like the top of it is red. It is metal though. When the pressure builds up in there, this comes right up, and then when it comes right up, it tells you that the pressure cooker is locked. If you try to open it, it won't open because it has reached the maximum capacity with the steam bill up in there. So that is why this come up and automatically locks the pressure cooker. Leaving it now on the heat. So when we return, I'll show you how you proceed to lower and you proceed for go high and medium and all of that. So we are gonna leave it now. When it start, when it comes, when it when it comes to a boil and this thing is coming up, I hope I can catch it to show you how it pops up. Must soon come. Okay, now family, we are back here. And if you, I want you to try tomorrow, girl. You can listen well. It is coming to come. It is ready. It is at its peak now. It's coming. And if you can shoot them up, camera girl. There's this little red thing in there. As it does the heat, as it gets heated more, I want to show you this thing. It is going to come right up and pop. I want to show you when the pressure cooker is properly locked. This is, I think most of the brands are like that. So we are waiting on this here to show you when the pressure cooker is ready and it lock. After that, you know, play with it. You can't play anything you want to play with it now. After that, after this, I'm going to show you. I hope it comes right up right now. The steam is building up inside there. And when it reaches um, its maximum capacity, this little thing inside here is going to pop up. Locks the pressure cooker. Let us wait. You will see also the steam coming from around. This is the weight, the the the, um, the valve. Yeah. So you will see the evapor that the thing coming out right there. So as soon as it reaches the capacity, it will just pop right up. I thought this one would come up more. This one doesn't come up more. It's right here. It was further down. This one is rather different. No, it's pressuring. But I think this one will come up further. The other ones, they come up further. But if you can do this little red thing in here, it comes up. Now the pressure cooker is at its max, and it is 
spinning. You also can know how good your pressure cooker is when you see how this, the weight here, when you see how it behaves. You see, I am near to it now. These are seals. These are the valves that fit. These are two valves. But when you, when you get your pressure cooker, your manual will tell you. So now, it's on high, right there, and this is how the thing be been like it mad. Now I'm going to bring it down to medium. It's a powerful pressure cooker though. It comes down a little, you notice? It comes down a little, look at it again. Mad head, crazy. Okay, we're on the medium, coming down, not so crazy. Down to low, settle, sink and settle. Okay, so we're gonna run this thing for about two to three minutes, and when we return, we're gonna I'm gonna show you. It's not like probably medium right there now. Yes, it's on the medium. So as soon as you move it, yes, it's gonna build up back again. Right there, it's on the medium. This is when the pressure cooker is cooking at this point. You know, play with it on the side at that. Okay, so. It's not something that you are to be afraid of, okay? Once these valves are in tune, and I have said before, make sure before you start using them, keep using your pressure for each time. You check to make sure that these are in pack, okay? We are going to let it spin for a little, and then we are going to turn it off, and when it's ready to, 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 to release, I'm going to come back to you. You see? It's okay. It's fine. This is the scene. It's supposed to be okay. You're not to put up your face to the scene. It's okay. You're good to go. The only time this will blow is if these valves are not okay. And I'll show you another thing it's when it will blow up. Or the main thing when you overload the pressure cooker. So I'm going to let pressure for a few and leave it. Because I'm also using this process to sterilize the new pressure cooker. No soon go. I've just turned it off. Now, the weight right here, this is coming to a standstill. It is coming to a standstill. When it stops, the pressure cooker is still not safe. It is not safe. You have got to leave it until this thing, come on, girl, you want to put them up right here? This little thing inside here, I need something to, sh a skewer. Let me get a skewer and come back. The pressure cooker is not safe to play around with until this little red thing in here, it drops right down. I thought it would come way up to the top, each one as I say, every, every manufacturer have them own thing. I had one that is, was like this, but my one, it comes way up to the top. This is different. So this was way down, but it came up three quarter. So the pressure cooker is safe. The pressure cooker is ready to open when this little red thing drops down. I think it is the thing that makes the sound ping, makes that sound. The pressure cooker is safe now. You don't try to lift this. You let out the steam, you'll damage yourself and you're gonna find your one. And then you're gonna cool it down. So we are gonna wait till this drop. And when it drop, I'll come and show you. Look at it here now. You never dare open it. Look at me, look at me here. You never dare open it unless you end up hurting yourself, okay? That would be dangerous. So when it's done, I'll come back and show you it is ready to be opened. No problem. Easy squeeze. We're not making a riot. Soon come. Okay, now family, we are back. Come on, grab me and if you can catch it, see Look at me here. You cannot see this thing. It is all the way down. Remember when it was there, it was three quarters, I said. Each manufacturer does their own thing. It is all the way down. That means the pressure has been released. The pressure, no, no pressure, no high pressure no in there again. It takes time to release after it's, you turn it off. Remember, it takes some time to build up the pressure for this thing to start dancing and carry on. So it also takes some time. So just like how you had to wait on it to build up the pressure of it start cook, you need to do the same when it, when it stops or when you turn it off. You need to, uh, you know, so you're learning. You're getting acquainted with your pressure cooker. Look at me here. Okay, come on, girl. It is all the way down, just a little red top. Now it is safe to open the pressure cooker. So you do the same thing. Push to the right again. And even though you do that, 
Do not lift and while you're lifting, you have your head over night. Because it's not prize giving you not when you get the prize, steam is still in there, but not as powerful as when it was pressured. So you ease yourself and you lift. Okay? This is the norm with a regular pressure cooker because it's aluminum in Itago Black. Because there was no nothing in there. Right? So what I'm gonna do now. I am going to throw this water out. As I said, I told you, this is my part of my sterilizing process. And I'm going to clean that this pressure cooker from all that, you know, that the water that, ma that it made. And then, in the video following, I'll, I'm going to wash it on the in with soap and water. Wash the outside and all of that. So this is my part of my sterilizing process. Also, I wanted to show you this. This part here, these little... I think this can come off. I think so. These little parts here with these little holes, it traps some, you know, sometimes you have the cow food, some people put coconut milk and all of them thing. It clogs after a time. It really clogs. Oh, look here. No, this is little red thing. See here? This is what locks the pressure cooker. Okay? This is under here. When you push it up, it comes up. And when it goes down, locks it, opens it. So this here, you gotta try to use a little Q-tip or if you can take off yours, not Q-tip, toothpick to clean or anything. Cause if it's too clogged, the pressure won't work, okay? So I think I've given you enough, far more than enough cause the people them can't take the chat in. So I'm gonna be ending this video right here for now and I'm gonna go clean this pressure cooker. And when you see me in the next video, we are gonna cook sitting in other new pressure cooker because that's how we do it. That is a real thing. That's how we do it right here on the Jamaican cooking journey next video.